That's good. Oh I am a little God. beggar man, a beggar never been. Not for three score or more on this little isle green. I'm known from the Liffey down to Sigoo. And I go by the name of old Johnny Doo. Of all the jobs I go on, Asha begging is the best for her. When a man is tired, he can sit him down and rest. Begging for his dinner, he's got nothing else to do but to cut around the corner on his old rig a do. A riddly idle doodle, idle diddly idle dum, but diddly idle doodle, idle doodle, idle diddly idle da, diddly you, right loodle. You know, every party's people are like, well, I'm going to drink, you know? Yeah. I feel like, what am I going to drink responsibly? Responsibly. Within moderation, yeah. you know? And people to be A nice talking. green can. Nice green can. Say patriotic. Yeah. Something that's really Irish. Something that's not big and... Something corporate. really... Even when you said really there, I said really, 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 really raw. Raw? Raw. 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 raw Irish raw. lager. Light and fresh, crisp and delicious. Patriotic like a wet ham. As, that'll make sense now when you listen to the rest yeah. of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> but it will. Raw, lo- it does have the faint scent of beautiful Irish ham in the. Well, I mean, that's my palate. Everyone's palate is different, but it tastes completely like ham to me, which is delicious as a vegetarian. <laughs> it's better than it's better than ham. It's light and fresh and crisp, and I know that's what I'm going to be having a little sip on this Paddy's Day. It's delicious. At Re Raw Beer on Instagram. <laughs> Nahan Fa! I'm wearing the Aaron jumper of the, of the Clancy Brothers. Yeah, but we're just sitting there and he's day. like, we're like, we could do a little song. We could do a song and, and like, it might go exactly and like then this. He just, <laughs> and then you also turn as if like join in. It was like, we can't join in. Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. It was no like, it's all used to solo. <laughs> God, that was fantastic. That's really, well, it's Paddy's Day special. Paddy's Day special. So we thought we'd party it up a bit. it's St. Paddy's Day. St. Patty. Hey, uh, excuse me, Yanks. All the Yanks that follow me on Instagram, presumably all of you, it's actually Paddy's Day, not Patty's Day. Okay, Do you Yanks. Know what? It's their day. It is their day. It's their day. It's not our day. Kind of a bit of a it joke. Started it started in New York City. Mm-hmm. It's it's their day. It's it is. an Irish pride thing in the 18th century or even the late 17th. I can't remember. I went to the Tenement Museum. They started it because they were discriminated against in America for being Irish. And so they did a a march of Irish pride on St. Patrick's Day through the upper class areas where they all worked as servants through those areas and said, listen, we are the biggest voting bloc in New York City. So you better start taking us seriously. It's their day. They can call it whatever they want. They all shouted that, did they? We're the biggest voting (laughs) bloc. What do we want to tell them that we're the biggest voting <laughs> in New York City? <laughs> so it's no, I it mean, I, I, I like they, obviously it's Irish culture and stuff like that, but it is about, I think, more an expat experience. It's also a, a blatant like tourism trap of like, hey, come to Paddy's Day and see the worst parade yeah. <laughs> ever. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to bring the big Bono head out again this year. You know the big Bono head? I wonder if <laughs> the they'll bring him out again. Head, wasn't it? Well, the um, there was a lot of de- lot of chit chat online about the like a couple of months ago about like the Irish American. We're Irish American, of course. We eat still or whatever, you know. <laughs> and, like, okay. Them calling themselves Irish, and then the years. Irish people, who I would say, kind of like inferiority complex obsessed people, going, "It's not. You're not Irish. We're Irish," and they're like, "We are Irish." Both of these are correct, yeah. right? Both of these are that is a, Irish people who live on a, live on the island at present must accept that when they say we're Irish, they're referring to like an ethnicity thing. They're not. It's not about mm. you. It's not the who's same. Late, all right, you're, who's a late late? Who's new late late show host? Then, if you know if you're Irish, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell us. I don't know his name, but um, he uh, such seems like a nice guy. You don't even know about Patrick Kilty, and you're <laughs> from Boston. Uh, <laughs> you're from Boston. Yeah. How much yeah. is how much is a pack of smokes in uh, the corner shop in Dunleary? Yeah. How much is it? How much is it? I don't know, like five dollars. Fuck. Okay. Next question. Uh, you're, that was lucky guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ori, who won the choice music prize for best album there? <laughs> if you're so from LA, an Irish on, baby, and they deserved it. They uh, did a great job. The um, no, no, the the I am very sympathetic to the 
Americans who are something and American because like that's their like what they did grow up hearing those totally. songs. They did grow up with that. Like they are Irish American. What do you want them to do? Just go, oh, I'm I'm just American. Like they are that too. They can be both. It is, such it is thing tough, as just American, really. It is tough though when you see like some big Minnesota guy with a neck like as wide as our shoulders. Oh, kind of you know. As wide as O'Connell Bridge and as long, mm. uh, who's like you know, yeah, I'm Irish. <laughs> you know, it's like you not you are like the fish that grew up in the big pond. Like yeah. you are not. It's uh, I don't. No, I mean it's like when you, especially particularly when you're looking at like the 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 swathe of all these big lumpy male Republican po- politicians who are like the worst humans possible, and you yeah. just see them standing there, and they're just like, they're like Stephen Bannon, and he's got a big meaty head, yeah. and you're like, I I know him. I mean, he yeah. uh, served me my first pint. Like you're it's just like, fun, oh isn't God! It? Like when you look at like the Senate and like they're they're kind of like Irish American, but you're like, that is a fucking straight patty right there, <laughs> big fucking spud head on you, stunning eyes for some reason. They're yeah. shinier, stunning pale though. eyes. They yeah. get shiny over there. They do get shiny. There's a bit of sunshine, but they're shinier. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a vitamin yeah. D in their hair that looks yeah. different. Yeah, the that's glaze, what it is. the yeah. hammy glaze is, is particularly mm, strong. A little bit. Ham. Yeah. Yeah. It's about ham. Look, it's and that's what, I think that's what Irishness really when it comes down to it, it is about ham sure <laughs> it's the best part of Ireland I know that in the Iberian you know countries yeah. ham is very important there but it's a terrible old dry ham <laughs> not like our wet ham very wet and that's what I think makes Ireland Ireland wet ham wet ham wet carrots wet just the, you know when you just have some wet ham and you know your family around and soft a song teeth. in your heart soft teeth wet ham soft teeth wet ham soft teeth Ireland? wet ham can't lose <laughs> yeah and that's what Ireland to me is all about Let's let's audition for Board Fulcher Ireland campaign. Is it called Board Fulcher still? I don't know. Oh god. You're thinking of Board Planola. No, I don't trust that Fulcher board Planola. Fulcher Ireland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it used to be called the Board Fulcher. They're all changed. It's called Network, <laughs> Network um, Two. Network yeah. Two. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come to James Ireland. In the end. Come to Ireland, where the ham is wet. The crack is mighty. <laughs> <laughs> I've set it up and I don't <laughs> set it up <laughs> well I'm just auditioning you guys I no, give it it's, it's, it could be one of those you know like where you can be as tall as a mountain Dines <laughs> Causeway Dines Causeway yeah something yeah, like yeah, that yeah. you know yeah. or underwater blue. <laughs> <laughs> or in a library or in a library <laughs> or in the long room in Trinity <laughs> the long room in Trinity is gorgeous it's long isn't it have you ever been in it never and it I'll never go in there it should breath. be fucking free um, I it, don't know why I, I went for free because yeah. um, I was working with Fault Island. Oh well, but it, it does take your breath away. Board Fault. Can I say though they do have a book of Kells experience now? Mm. Did I say this already in the podcast? Jesus, everyone must be so sick of every time I say that. But anyway, doesn't matter. That's enough experiences. I want to see the book of Kells. <laughs> look at the, whatever page is available on that particular day. I'll look at it. Did they change the page? They turn the page every so often. I don't know. They, they, they also day, have day, this. They every day. Who, so. who knows? They, w- they wouldn't be going with the first and the last page. That wouldn't be very good for the spine. No. <laughs> they should, maybe the Book of Kells should take up Pilates. Maybe the, the maybe fucking should. defender of old books. But there's a Book of Kells experience <laughs> and it's like, you can go Tone. into the Book of Kells and then it oh, comes alive around you. No, that's a, that's stupid. Look at the Book of Kells. This is, this is nonsense. Yeah. Van Gogh, experience it. It's like, Projections of Van Gogh on the ground. Was well, solidarity to the Trinity them. students who uh, occupied? I think they occupied it. So yeah, they occupied every so often. Fair play to them. They Good occupied a book of cows. They occupied. Mm. They occupied it, and they they sit in there, and then like the tourists. Did you not see the American? Yeah, that tourist, was a good video. Who was like, guys, we've heard you out, but we really want to see that book. I heard that the room was used for Star Wars. And I want to see... No, he didn't say that. But he was like just trying to reason with these students, and they were like absolutely fuck off. What was their stance? I think they I can't what that one on was about. Was that was uh, a, that, that wasn't about Palestine? It was about something no, else. No, it was about it's about they can't fucking afford anywhere to live. Like oh that. yeah, They're, housing. Yeah, and they were like, you can't. Yeah. It's 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 obscene that then there's this massive tourist attraction in the middle of their campus, and they're like, we can't even afford to get in to come to college because we live in Clane and it takes a bus. Takes don't learn that. They should probably do don't that. Don't learn. Yeah. They, <laughs> it's a very well run kind of like you know, uh, like tourist experience, uh, Trinity. They should really just go do that at the doll, just fucking arm and arm outside the doll. It's not Trinity's fault. They have all that student accommodation there and it's dirt cheap if you can get it. And it's the lottery system to get it. Like, I don't really understand that. Well, I don't understand how they're, why they're blocking the book of Kells to because make. that's the where they make their money. So I mean, Trinity's like also a bit of a business as well. Trinity, Trinity has, has investments. Sway, they, they had money. Why do you in think arms? that they, Trinity should be using that money to build apartments? 
They well, should it's be very... student uh, subsidizing student accommodation. Accommodation is quite cheap. Where in Trinity? Yeah, but the, not for like the fucking what is like the the thirty thousand students they have. There's like what two hundred? I don't know how many. I know, but like that's an issue for like you know on board plan all actually. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be more of a thing. Let's go to more about Paddy stuff. This is like local, po- local <laughs> Dublin politics. Like, yeah. this is, well, what's I hate more when, Irish I hate than the housing we, crisis? I hate when we reveal our thirties. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tory Cantwell over here. <laughs> Tory Jesus. Cantwell. No, if you want just want accommodation, pay for it. <laughs> no, no I think they should. They're just the wrong. They should. I think every single day, not a fucking single TD should be allowed to enter the gates of the doll. There should be people there, arm in arm, for so many different things. Mm-hmm. Firstly, 10 o'clock drinking <laughs> in the <laughs> off-license. Um, that's so yeah. embarrassing, isn't it? Um, yeah. The 10 o'clock thing. I was like, what's that for? I was like, no, that solved it. Solved what? Didn't solve fuck What have you achieved? Young people uh, young people don't be able to be home by like, midnight. What's the 10 o'clock drinking thing? That, they, that you can't buy alcohol after 10pm? Yeah, like that, yeah. That, that came in while we were... Hey, listen, if you're ever... You no, no. If you're ever looking for a drink after 10pm, call me, yeah? Yeah. I also know a few I spots. I know a few spots, so just let me know. Re- at re on no. <laughs> no. no, I really think we should... Uh, Re-Raw definitely, yes. definitely sell within the legal uh, limits. Yes, they uh, do. As said by the... But if you do want some re just... I never really went out for Paddy's Day. Like, I never really did this. No. Did, did you do it? My mum would try and bring us to the parade, but we'd oh, get yeah. up very late and then we would not get a good spot. And then every single year we'd get a bit cold and she'd like, do you want to go to a joke shop? And she'd buy, uh, us, she'd buy us a new joke. Oh, that's good. So then we kind of made a tradition of going in to the joke shop on mm. Paddy's Day. Like going in. And then she was like, well, I'll just bring you to the joke shop on a less busy day. And then we just stopped doing any of it. <laughs> <laughs> after yeah. a while I think no, it's magical we did when you're a kid, a kid it's pretty yeah. magical it's yeah. pretty good yeah. you know I didn't really have any kind of like we didn't have any cool uncles or cool older friends that like had a you know a balcony or whatever oh, or, yeah, you know yeah. it's I think that's really the way to do it is if you have you know an office that overlooks it is probably the ideal situation yeah yeah no uh, we, we would meet up with the McShanes who we previously had mm-hmm. beef with on the podcast but I think that's quashed now Fair and then sure. we would get burdocks chips and it would, it would be pretty fucking cool that's pretty sweet they did a thing called the Denny run for a while which is Denny Sausages. My mum like loves history and all that stuff. She loves Dublin. And there was this weird thing where you had to go all around Dublin. It was a, I guess like a, a, a almost like a quiz, but you would have information that would be revealed by going. So you'd have a to go to Dublin. Scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt. Wow. But you'd go to Dublin uh, Castle code. and then you would go. It's kind of like the Da Vinci Code. Uh, mm. But she was doing, like she was pushing a pram with my little brother in it and then had three kids and then we we're sprinting around. But I got to go up to the top of the chimney in Smithfield or that, that thing in Smithfield. Oh. Went all, you know, went to the Phoenix Park, went all over and then you get free sausages. What? And I, I don't know. I, d- I think those sausages are subsidized by the government. And I don't oh, know that's wh- if that's on board Planola or something like that, but they were s- subsidized by the government. Well, we can speak sausages. to our local board Planola. Uh, it. Uh, <laughs> no, it does beg the question, though. Yeah. That sounds very fun, right? Yeah. But it does beg the question parades, are they good? Let's, I mean, let's think about this. There's better things I think there were some pretty good ones in Germany in the 30s that... Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm joking. Can we have one episode? <laughs> yeah, please. Sorry. For goodness one sake. One episode. I know. Sorry, sorry. People are bad. bored shitless listening to you, <laughs> Shai on. Do you know that? <laughs> There's some good ones in North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine that's what I said. Oh, people are. I do feel like you must didn't, address didn't it again. Like, you didn't even scold him for mentioning the Nazis. It was General. just like it was actually bored. It's actually the German thing. It's a German thing. You totally overlooked the Nazis. Yeah. No, like the bad stuff is fine, but <laughs> shut up about Germany. I do. Like Killian's mom did say to Killian that I was very mean to him one day. Yeah. Didn't she say that? And yeah, I, she did, I, yeah. I, I don't know why that dynamic has come. I like him. Mm. I like him. Shane I, is very good to me. He's very, very good to me. Just sounds like an abuser. That sounds like an abuser. And he still yeah. has. <laughs> he still has my little steps that I lent him. So. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Well, we only have one chair in the house, so I... I I'm Get like, new chairs, that's not my problem. You're sitting on a fucking ladder? I'm going on free cycle. It's not really a ladder, it's just two steps. Yeah, I literally sit on my back is in ribbons. Wow. But uh, there you go. I have one chair in the house and I have Shane's stepladder, so I'm, I'll, I'll give it back. I'll, I'll, I will give it mm. back. I have your chains and I have your stepladder. Chains? Yeah. My sexy chains. chains my sexy chain outfit. Oh, you lent him chains. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, Do you remember you couldn't buy alcohol on Paddy's Day in like an off-license? Yeah. Did they make that? That was a thing, thing for a while. I think yeah. that may actually be ongoing in the city centre, is it? Is, is it? it? I don't know. Remember we had, Until we bought, after a certain time, like... My best Paddy's was when we bought a load of drink to go in. The next day, we had like shit loads of drink. Yeah. And we brought it back to my house where we were in a store. My mom was dating my stepdad at the time, so she was barely around. It was a great time. Brilliant. And um, free gaff. So then we were just there with the drink and we were like, might crack into like, and this is when we're like just about like 17 or 18. Like, yeah. I might crack into a can now. Yeah. And then we just got shit face and had a massive razor and it was amazing. That's and then like the so next day, good. we just didn't even go in. But it That's was just brilliant. one of, it was in, like an impromptu 
pre Paddy's party, oh. and it was the greatest night. That's really cool. Yeah, I remember. I think it was my first Paddy's day that I drank, and my mum said we're having a St. Patrick's Day dinner at eight o'clock. You can go out and hang out with your friends, but you have to be home by eight o'clock. Oh no! We drank four cans in the space of an hour because it took us ages to get drink. Uh, Did you go and fishing then I, for a drink? Yeah, we had, yeah. went fishing and then um, got drink. Drank, just drank the four cans because I was like, I have to be home in like two hours, so I better just get these into me. So I drank them and then like with an hour to go, I just went back to my parents' house and sat like locked, like just wobbly drunk, just like sit there with my parents, just like, hmm, thanks, mum. Can you pass the ham, please? This is really nice and wet. Wow. Uh, just like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like just, I, I mean, generally. Paddy's Day was a disappointment for teenagers. It's kid, it's yes. great. When you're a teenager, it's like, what do you, what do, you do? Like, just you can't go busy. into town and do anything. You can't drink. Also, like, they take your cans off. Like, the guards, like, take their... Yeah. Like, we want, all we want, all we ever want mm. is to be out on the street drinking. Like, I think Irish people yeah. have been so denied this at, yeah. at any time. I think they need to move Paddy's Day to May. They need to just set up a load of little, like, stages around Dublin. People can walk around, set up fucking, uh, put toilets everywhere, put a load of guards everywhere. Mm. That's all we want is just to yeah. walk around. We go over to different cities to, like, do these street festivals and stuff. We would love it. Take a drink for a walk. My Take friend calls. Take a drink for a That's can great. for a walk. Yeah, maybe the pandemic you kind of do that. A little bit. That was yeah. a good time for drinking. That was actually. great. I actually felt very uncomfortable about that street drinking because of the lack of pee. I was like, I don't want to pee in a lane. I found it all very. Yeah, hard. but they brought the I toilets in and lane. everything. I, I just feel like it's a prick. Not in the toilet outside. is my like, preferred place to pee. No, or you like to peeing pee in the wilderness. Yeah, wonderful. Peeing in the wilderness. It's wonderful. Fantastic. Oh yeah. On a tree. Fantastic. Well, on a tree. I think it was Judy Dench once spoke about this. Judy Dench was on a TV a show bird. and she said, why do uh, men people. always have to pee up against something? They have to go all the way to the edge of the field to pee at the fence rather than just like, just turn around and pee. That's Cause, interesting. It's because it's the privacy of your Mickey. I don't know. That's it. That's entirely it. It's going somewhere where the, the viewing angle of your penis is at its smallest. The, you need, you're, you have a smallest penis? When I pee in public, <laughs> my penis gets to its smallest That's state. a question, Minister. Uh, <laughs> question. I remember one time I was Minister, peeing. what are you packing? We've asked you a number of times. Minister, the, Minister, obviously there is a lot of factors. We are aware of this. You've mentioned this. I've, Environmental I've, factors. I, I have dated yeah. so much. You may be no, drinking. Am, you're nervous whether you're nervous or not. I am a grower, grower, not a shower. <laughs> I am a grower, not a shower. No, but this is uh, not what the Oireachtas Committee said. Uh, <laughs> we spoke you, to the Oireachtas uh, Committee uh, about uh, this, yeah. Minister, and you, you did not declare at that point that you're a grower. I'm not a shower. You I, said, I'm happy with what I, I've got. I, 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 I was measuring it the old-fashioned way beforehand. I've recently learned a new new way of measurement by pushing a ruler well, deep on. into my no no you let me finish you let me finish I have gained centimetres I have not I have not disclosed those uh, as of yet but it is significantly more than I said before now well we'll certainly need to speak to Sipa about those that you haven't declared those you want me to zip it up <laughs> yeah we'll need to speak to Sipa you about have that. to declare this this is an easy to declare it's the being United tax form is it effective is it, you have to ask the, the public want to know uh. and, and the Irish voters want to know, know is it acceptable that a grower and not a shower can be in a position of leadership <laughs> Should big dick fellas not be out in the front of leadership? And I challenge I, you. I, I, I believe that I give up BDE anyway, uh, regardless of the size. The big guys dick from the Devonish, they could come in. They take charge. They'd be a- <laughs> that would be amazing. Wouldn't it? <laughs> if it was purely based on just how big a dick was. God, awful. Uh, but that maybe, maybe it worked back then. Maybe you know? it did work back then <laughs> when you were running around. Well, a big dick wouldn't have been good when you were running around like getting a cotton things. You know what I mean? Mm. Okay, running around. Brambles. Brambles. Oh yeah. Par, par example. <laughs> But Being in the streets, I, I don't know whether the Irish, whether oh, Irish people, what are we like? <laughs> so Irish. Um, oh, can I tell you a pissing, a public pissing story? Killian, is he allowed? Yes. Killian's going yes. to rain in the willy oh, talk. Yeah. No, um, no. The raining I, willy talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll, it's well, it, well, raining dick. <laughs> well, you're in luck. <laughs> 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 it's raining dick. This, this piss story is a raining uh, willy uh, story. No, I was pissing in Temple Bar. Um, kind of, you know, behind that, you know, that bronze palm tree that's like beside the tackle shop. It's gone now, yeah. Is but, it? Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, they. Turn, I'll tell you something. Well, anyway, that lane way around there was pissing, and I looked around. I looked around. No one there. Took my Mickey out. Start like literally, like a, a drop hadn't even hit the cobblestone, mm. and a guard's hand on my shoulder, and like I just started, and he was like, and he's like, "What do you think you're doing?" And I'm like, "I know you fucking timed this, bro." But anyway, yeah. I'm pissing, and it's. It's almost like I'm I'm bragging about the crime because I'm continuing the flow of piss. <laughs> it's almost like he's caught me stabbing someone and then found me and I continue stabbing. But it's like I can't do anything about it. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just there pissing. He's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Come on, you what know." What do you want me to do here? What do you want me to do here? The you floodgates know? have opened. Suck it up. The levee is broken. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Reverse, reverse. Um, I don't think he gave me a fine. Actually, do you know what? I ran away. 
Good for you. Why ran being, away? <laughs> while spraying. <laughs> while spraying. Like carrying a garden hose. <laughs> yeah. I ran Bye, back, officer. I ran backwards. That's to not ruin my jeans. And you shall never catch me again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. The cheeky, the the poltergeist the, peer was once the again caught. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Just let us off that. Just put the jacks everywhere. everywhere. Do you know what I mean? You know, in yeah. Amsterdam, they have those big old yeah. bronze ones. You just stand up. Well, what was amazing is they brought all these uh, public toilets in during the pandemic. And then, like, the pandemic kind of ended. And then they just took them away. And I was like, that's like, surely mm. not. I guess we got to put them in the bin now. That's yeah. how it works. That's anyway. Mm. Yeah. It's important not to put bins out anywhere either. Mm. Try and reduce bins. I, I think that's, <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's try and make things as awkward as possible. You know what we could do with a lot more of? A few offices. Ooh. We're really, They're building uh, offices and no one's going to go into them. We're really well, going, h- hitting every bit of, this is like a local Dublin City Council Issues I, uh, look, podcast. I don't care. Everyone who follows me is from Ireland, whatever. Just because you have international reach, it's not my problem. We gave some stuff to the Yanks there as well, up top. Yeah. So they weren't yeah. Irish. I want to talk more about that. Irish. You want, you want to talk more yeah, about Irish. it? Irish. You want to talk in Irish? Irish. Yeah, just uh, talk about Irish. So. Learn right. Okay. Let, can I tell you about this hat? Yeah. You this hat has seen? This hat is from Italia 90. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Actually, was there. Are you Was ch- over there This in hat was there when Ray no. Houghton. Are you joking me? Mm-hmm. 100%. Why and you, you mean, didn't want to wear it. You snubbed it. You turned your nose up at it. It's my father-in-law's hat. That's incredible. And it's so not his style. But he wore it. Does he have a just, tiny head? Because that was not fitting on my head. It was a smaller head than me. They had, smaller heads, they had smaller heads, heads in the 90s. They had, 90s. Heads they had yeah. very yeah. small heads. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's to do That's with why we would go to the, the EU and it's the, all the, the food regulations. The yeah, yeah. The growth hormone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 High fructose corn syrup. Mm. And the EU are trying to control us. <laughs> now the EU that's it they're, trying, they're letting France dictate what goes on here mm. and that needs to be addressed that's why I'm starting my own party it's called everyone else is out to get me except me and I'm Grant <laughs> that's and, and also fuck women <laughs> yeah, well. yeah, yeah. they're bad as well that's my party do you want to join? yeah that sounds good okay I'll look at the, all the parties and I'll decide on, on you weren't born on this land so sorry. you can't sorry pal you were born over there to a foreign land so you can't join my party my party is for pure thoroughbreds <laughs> so just sorry. because one was born in a stable does not make one a horse ah. you were born in England that makes you a Brit <laughs> that's no good. That's don't true. say that that's, no, sorry, I've got actual that drama one, on that one and Killian is British I get slagged about I didn't tell people that I did th- that was tough. Growing up, is being it born the Queen? in England. Is that what you you're upset about? The Queen was really that like, could read. I was a fucking, you know what? I was a, Watch your language. an Irishman. Sorry, watch in, your language. I, I, excuse me. <laughs> I was fecking an Irishman. Thank you. you were fecking an Irishman. <laughs> I was an Irishman in the 90s in England. You know, that's that's tough. I mean, I was one, in the 90s. two, and three. Yeah, so it's tough. Where was that boy? Where was that boy during Omar? No Irish need apply to this kindergarten. That was, yeah. you know, that was for mm. me. That no black tough. children, mm. no dog children, no Irish children. <laughs> your man went in to buy the milk formula. We don't serve your kind in here, darling. Yeah. Keep on walking. They were like, oh, you want that one? And it's like ham flavoured. <laughs> ham flavoured baby formula. <laughs> yeah, but the problem with the powdered ham, it's very dry. <laughs> it is. It's very dry. You, you need to add water to it. Yeah. Um, can I clear the air about something? Yeah. Tony Campbell, clear the air. Do you want okay. to plead your case? I need to plead my case. Okay, welcome to plead your case with Tony Campbell. Last week we were doing a bit, and I don't know what kind of bit we were doing, but uh, you think I feel like you got me into a comedy cul de sac and asked me if I was for the abortion referendum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I said no because I was like, all right, what do doing I do here? Bit. We're doing a bit. But then Hillary was all like, I really didn't like that thing of the abortion referendum. And I'm like, do you honestly think I was like anti abortion here? I am pro choice. So just in case anyone missed the nuance of that incredible bit that we were doing, um, I am uh, pro-choice. Just want to clear the air on that. And the apparently it's my, real. Apparently it's my fault. <laughs> so well, it was, well, so it, <laughs> well, it was a sharp, bitey a bit of improv being like, what did you vote in the abortion referendum? You know, And you uh, voted yes. I voted yes. The eight. So did I. Yes, no I more didn't abortions. Because I wasn't in the country at the time, but I was fully behind the yes campaign. Yes campaign. Mm. Yes. Well... What do, you, what do you want me to do? I, I, I was. If well, I no, you just don't. Country, let's, I, no, I don't want to have a fight. Yeah, if, if this is, uh, anyway, moving on. I but, like going to other countries and people thinking I'm real nice and stuff, and it's great. But there's also a thing where, like, Americans are never surprised that you're good at singing. They're never surprised at that kind of stuff. But you know, they'd be very surprised if you were good at maths. They think you're stupid. I don't know if they think you're stupid, but maybe a little bit. Or they kind of like they they. Their eyes brighten up 
and they find out you're Irish and that's beautiful and amazing. But then there's also like a kind of expectation to be a bit of crack. And I remember like I, I one of my roommates um, was uh, like red hair. very, And she said to me one day, she's like, do you ever think people kind of just when they find out you're Irish, they kind of take you a little less seriously or something like that. Wow. Like that kind of thing. So, I mean, there's a little bit of that, which is kind of is there a way of kind of. Like it's 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 a good thing. It's kind of good, but it's also not totally. I mean, it's kind of this kind of disarming. I think there's a bit of like ah, go on yourself kind of vibe off it. Like I probably I, lean into it as well, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I find like when the uh, the Yank comedians come over and play Ivy Gardens, there's a bit of a kind of like oh, cute, you know, <laughs> kind of vibe. I think they kind of are like think you know who I am, but I don't really know who you are. Kind of vibe, you know. <laughs> yeah. Some of them. Um, yeah. I think there's definitely a kind of like. Yeah, this is just a bit of a lark for me, you know, but this is your whole life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. You know, very nice, but I definitely think that they uh they don't yeah, I don't I don't think people view us as equals. <laughs> <laughs> That's just something I wanted to say, you know. It's cuz I love I love the Irish, yeah. I love the Irish culture more than I love Ireland itself. Yeah. Do you know what I, I think I just fucking hate the doll to be honest. I think I just fucking despise yeah. the doll. I don't and I think that's either. where all of my kind of uh kind of um yeah, anger towards any kind of Ireland Irish issues stems, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, that's why I think we need to be arm in arm, stopping them from getting to work, jocking them actually. That'd be a good revolution. <laughs> or sack tap, sack tap, jocking, jocking the lads, <laughs> sharking the birds. What's a shark? <laughs> pull, 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 pull. That's a bit more of it an is, assault. Really. It is a pure assault. All right, well, we'll just tell we, the women that we're also unhappy with them, but we'll sack tap all the men. Yeah, we'll sack tap sack all tap. the men. This and is then, uh, when the woman goes, we go, school, and we're not happy with you either. Kind of mm. yeah. techniques. We need to. The activists in Ireland need to adopt the tactics used by bullies in boys' secondary yes. schools yeah. in Ireland. We need to. What's the thing? Pocket them as well. Pocket we need them. to rip, 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 rip their pockets. Bag all their we need to turn all their briefcases Get inside out. Briefcases just cracking the sides, turning them inside out, cover them in tip eggs. You know, yeah, <laughs> whoopee cushions all Wedgie. over Leinster House. Wedgie mm. them, yeah. Yes, is this inciting violence? Maybe mm. a balance sheet. <laughs> inciting a balance sheet. I want every politician to be wrapped in a balance sheet. Mm. TP the doll. TP yeah. the doll. Yeah. Anyway, look enough of that Irish stuff. Mm. Shane, you played Vicar Street there yeah. last week. Yes, I played Vicar Street twice. Oh yeah! <laughs> I mean, so did I. But <laughs> Gillian was there. <laughs> Two gorgeous evenings. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It you I thought I was worried. I told you this. I was yeah. worried that when you'd get there that you'd be like, Yeah, it just felt like another L gig, but it does feel very nice. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. It's a wonderful it does feel cool. It's palace of, of comedy. And Shane was incredible. You had how many standing ovations did you get? It doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> like, I mean, it is important. To, like, I did get a few comments on that now on the Instagram. A few People like, standing I ovations. thought you don't believe in standing ovations, which I said on this podcast. And as I said, I will reiterate my point. Standing ovations are only real if I am the person receiving them. That's true. That's the only time. <laughs> How do you that's get multiple real? ones? Well, different I, parts in the show. They stood I, up. No, 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 no. They stood up and they sat down. They stood up. And they stood well, up see, again. A lot of them stood up to leave, and then but then they got mixed in with the people. People who were do have to go to toilet, and sometimes it's easier to stand up if you're bursting to go to toilet at the end, <laughs> yeah. you know. Um, so you just might you might hold on to yeah, it. I had a standing ovation. Well, it was one guy, and he was going. To yeah, bathroom. he wasn't clapping. He was walking, yeah, and he was walking away kind of from a walking, it. But that was, no, standing I, I, walk. He was evading. He was evading. The first yeah. one's very stressful because then you bring in your pals and your family into the room afterwards. Mm. And as someone said, my friend said, Lauren, she said, or her sister actually, Kelsey. God forgive me. Um, Jesus. Oh, I've, I've another thing to bring up actually about that. That um, she said it's like he's hosting his own Debs, and it is a bit like oh, that. That's cute. Like I was going into the other room and getting yeah. the drinks and mm. bringing things down, and then. Mm. Uh, whatever so you're busy and you have to do all that stuff but it was very fun and also really weird I was like this is so weird seeing your mom and dad in that room it's like what are you doing in here it was like mm -hmm. I've been here because I work in show business but what are you doing in here it's like mm -hmm. it's so funny they're like <laughs> having a drink chat to people in the room of Vicar Street it's so funny mm -hmm. um, I will say okay a number of weeks ago on this podcast I have to make a clarification because you made a clarification sure, I need to uh, plead my case and clear my name plead your case with Shane the cases are real. Oh, I it was a, yeah the cases are real the people are real the so, banter is shite <laughs> yeah, the banter. so remember you were, you were saying that it, when we were in the dressing room which had all the bulbs around the mirror yeah. and I was doing the joke of come on reveal yourself to me <laughs> as if it was looking at an uh, no, aged actor seeking his character I wrongly attributed that joke to my friend Jer <gasps> it does in fact belong to my friend Barry <gasps> and I want that to be very clear that Barry actually did uh, come up with that joke go on Jer Good man, Jer. Uh, nice one. Jer, it was the Barry. joke shop of Jer. <laughs> Jer has many good jokes, but that was Barry O'Connor's joke, and 
you can see him on numerous television programs at the moment if you look up, look him up on IMDb. I Banged up abroad. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was most recently in Shetland. That that program. Oh. Yeah, he was a big role in that. Anyway, so I wish to apologize because there is nothing worse than someone oh. robbing a joke. I, years ago, my friend was in a bad way at a festival. She's like, "Oh, she's in bits," and I was like, "This girl is trying to leave." I was like, "And I'm staying here on, in this tent until she gets her makeup, and puts her things on, and we're going back into this festival." Mm. And I said later on that day, I was like, hmm. "I was like, she was a flight risk." Right, which I think That's is a, a good, good, yeah. good festively style joke. Fun. And she was like, I, you're right, I was a flight risk. I, if you had left, I would have just ran out of that festival. Mm. And I was like, yeah, flight risk. And then her brother was like, that was my joke. I came up with that. I was like, no, you didn't. I said that. Oh. It's terrible when someone steals your joke. And it's like, you just have, and when they will never accept it, then I'm like, you have to make your own piece and go, you know what? Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I guess it's what we're doing now. Mm-hmm. That's true. Sure. It's, the, it's like those My Cousin kids when you're in primary school. That My Cousin came up with that. When the, you know, like, remember Uptown Molly, she's a living in a Tesco trolley. Never heard of that. That was a little thing we sang when Uptown Girl came out or whatever. That that was a thing that was going around. And there was this lad who's like, my cousin came up with that. And it was like, what can you do? Like, it, it, mm. he somehow he owns the joke now because his cousin invented it. But obviously he didn't because if everything this guy, his cousin is fucking, you know, Shakespeare and Usain Bolt all rolled into one. Like, <laughs> his cousin is doing everything. He's the like, my cousin actually uh, is the fastest lad in the school. My cousin actually met Robbie Keane and he uh, nuts him. And you're like, oh my God, like your fucking cousin. Wow. How many cousins do you have, sir? As many, as many as the eye can see. There are so many like absolute liars in school. And like, I've seen it happen where a liar was telling me all this cool stuff that he had done. And he became, for a while, the most popular guy in the class. He was okay. like, I actually got this game in. I actually got the new Resident Evil game from America. And you wouldn't believe the shit you can do in it. You can actually like, mm. kick down the doors. You can actually get a chainsaw in it. And he was telling all this stuff. And we, everyone, everyone was like, every day sitting around him like, what else can you do? And he was telling us all about it's new Resident Evil. Like, it's actually, it's actually and I don't even know if that, that version is going to come over here because it's so violent. <laughs> and after weeks and weeks and weeks, I just said, um, I said, I just saw a picture of Resident Evil, the new Resident Evil in the magazine. And it doesn't look anything like what you're describing. And he goes, yeah, I made it all up. And he just dropped it like that. Oh, my and God. And he lost the respect. Like, it was permanent loss of respect for the rest of his yeah. life, actually. But, like, your flight so for close his to life, his, like, still today. Kind of, I think, a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Like, a big, big lie like that. You know what I mean? His you, kids say, I know all about you. <laughs> but you never have, do you ever hear girls, that, like, in, in school, and they're like, they tell people they have <laughs> cancer and stuff. Like, I've heard, of, of, like, friends of mine, I've, I've heard that there have been girls in class that like, have lied and said that they're terminally ill Jesus. and the whole school comes together and then they're like, sorry, it's not true. Like, it's kind of... Oh, my God. It is so... You think as a child, I can actually get a lot of attention if I say these words in this yes. order, mm. but it will ruin everything, mm. you know? Yeah, I mean, that's true. You can, you can just lie and it will get you a lot of attention. When you're, there's did, actually a great story about this... Um, about a, a like a basically a little boy who's right. taking care oh. of sheep. Sure. Oh and, yes. And so he he one day uh, he gets something similar. Like he goes to the village and he says, "I've got terminal cancer," <laughs> um, or so, I'm mixing it up now. Sorry. I... <laughs> and then anyway, he he blew one of the houses down. He blew one of the houses down, and there were three. His granny lived three in the pigs inside, and that's local pork. Yeah. yeah. Um, so and then a doctor actually came up and said, like, "Actually, you don't have cancer," and his nose grew really long. Yes, yeah. and then what was it again? Yeah, and then he goes, and then he gets swallowed by a whale. Yeah. Yes, and something to do. And then he with just, so then he uh, wrote the book about it. That was coming then, back three days after death. Yeah, and he Matilda some, wrote the book and put then, some slippers on that were made of pumpkins. And the, and the spider 12. writes the messages in the web. And anyway, we shouldn't lie. Is That's a message. True. That's a great story. <laughs> little kids do good lies, though. I do like little kids lying. I like when they say they have jobs and stuff, or they say they've been places. I love that. <laughs> they have jobs. You know, they're like, oh yeah, I was at my work. And you're like, really? And they're like, yeah, I was out. Or my friend is, he used to say a thing. He's like, he told his mom, it was like, it was before you were born. I was like, how? There's no such thing as before your mommy was born because you have to come out of her vagina. <laughs> um, I do like little kids lying. I, I lied once in the first class. That was like, we we're going on our school tour to some like. Uh, what do they call them now? Fun, fun, uh, soft play. So soft we're going play, some place yeah. or whatever. And she's like, we were all clapped or whatever. And then she's like, hell, I haven't been there before. And this girl, Laura, put up her hand. And so I was like, yeah, fuck it. And I just threw my hand up as well. I was like, yeah, me no. too. I've been there. And I had not been there, like whatsoever. Like I just made up. And then she, she asked, what did you like about it, Laura? And she was like, I liked the slides. They're my favorite. And she's like, and Shane, what was your favorite? I was like, slides. <laughs> Just absolutely. Do, 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 do. Yeah, went with it. it. Was like, try me, Miss McCarthy. Do, 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 do. 
Try try me. You know I'm lying. I know I'm lying. Call me out. Let's see what Look you can do. Right. My favorite bit? Slides. The slides. <laughs> so that's factually correct. <laughs> try me. Look it up, bitch. I once told a story in school. There were It was like in first class. And the teacher was like, did anyone do anything interesting over the weekend? And I was like, miss, uh, I went to a wedding over the weekend <laughs> and they brought out all this food and the sandwiches. But then I saw a lot of rats and the rats came out and they took all the cheese out of the sandwiches mm. and they replaced the cheese with mouse traps and put that in the bread. And then the bride was eating a sandwich and the mouse trap bit her mouth and everyone was screaming and everyone was crying. And my <laughs> teacher just went, I don't think that's true. And I was oh. so like, I was so angry. Like, oh. it was such a wrong. I wasn't How embarrassed. How did she crack the code? I was like embarrassed. I was angry. I was like, in my head, like, you fucking bitch. You fucking <laughs> ruined it. Like, I was so angry. I do love it. The kids How like, dare you? I know. My brother my told me in the, in the Beaver Scouts, I was doing my fourth year charity work, whatever. So I was doing, I was in Scouts, but I was doing the Beaver Scouts. Anyway, he was a beaver at the time, little kid, six to eight. Mm-hmm. And the, te- the lady was talking about, um, how Halloween is scary time for animals and he was like yeah well our dog ran into the bonfire and she was like oh I hope he wasn't hurt she's like he died I was like, we didn't have a dog she's like he died and then she was like oh that's very sad and then he said yes and we feasted on the bones <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there like number one we do not have a dog we have never had a dog it didn't die and we didn't feast on the bones. It was like, so he just, I think bones. he was kind of like, the bones yeah, you don't, you don't you feast eat. the bones. <laughs> but I think he was like, right, in for a penny, keep it going, see how far we get with this. It was like, kind of expressionless, a bit worrying actually. It's also like, I read Spine Chillers magazine today. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's that Spine kind Chillers of vibe. Magazine. Spine Chillers was that, the binder. It was like the binder you get the collecting horror magazines. And oh, I never one had one, anything like that. Well, I feel like that's you read like two bits of a horror story or something like that. Do you mm. know what I mean? You know, things are just like fresh in your mind and you just kind of jumble them all up together. I yeah. accidentally uh, committed identity fraud, kind of. Uh, <laughs> accidentally. When I was a kid, because the, the I, did, I don't know if, well, it doesn't matter. But I, I was doing um, a Gaelic camp, uh, like as a kid, and they were calling out uh, people's names uh, to come out and join this group. And they said, uh, the person had, uh, I mean, it was probably some like, you know, 10 year old, but I was like five. And they said, Killian Sullivan, like that. And mm-hmm. I think they had a kind of speech impediment mm-hmm. or something. And uh, and I was like, oh, that's me. And I walked up. And then another kid walked up whose name was Killian Sullivan. Mm-hmm. And my name's Killian Sunderman. But the uh-uh. way she said it, it's very, very similar. Mm. So I was like, that's my name. And then like she was like, and then in front of the whole like camp, she was like, <laughs> your name's Killian Sullivan. And then showed me the name. And I was like, oh, no, it's not. But I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then she was like, and your name's Killian Sullivan. And he was like, yeah. And then the whole day, we were like so... <laughs> Everyone was like, you guys have the exact same name. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, we've got the same name. Oh, my God. And it was so insane. And the camp was on for a week. And the whole week I had to just go like, my name's Sullivan. My mum probably found out about it. And they were probably just like, oh, just leave it. Like, whatever. Yeah. Like, it's not a big deal. And I was just the whole time I was like, I'm going to get found out. Like, my name is Sunderman. Mm. They're going to make a big deal out of that. It was so scary. Wow. Um, Did you get on well with Killian Sullivan? Yeah, it was good. Really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, it, it was we had a great forward partnership uh, for Kula for years. That's yeah. nice. So no, yeah. when he found out, was he absolutely heartbroken? It was never spoken was it about. Like I the think end people of like a slowly rom-com? like it, people figured out slowly because I was with that team in that, so I knew the people for years. And I think people f- figured out slowly over time, and they were just like that was a bit weird. And they understood what happened, and I must have been like a real like scared little kid, just like uh, yeah, that's my name, mm. Sullivan. <laughs> My dad, Helmut Sullivan. Uh, <laughs> but the, the thing is, that woman probably knew. The girl probably knew because you know did, the way yeah. kids think they're getting away with these lies. But you're like, right, okay, you're just gonna let them away. But you're like, mm-hmm. sure. She was like, right, the chaps. Well, she, could could she not see Killian Sunderman on the list as well? Because she not have gone. Oh, listen, honey. she should have enunciated. Uh, really, that's the yeah, problem. I mean, but she may have had a speech impediment. I don't know. But I just yeah. Mm, she should have paid for years of of speech therapy. Yeah, it's weird the ones you have to kind of call kids on. Like my young fellas constantly. Sonny's always like. I'm stronger than you. Mm. I'm faster than you. And like, sometimes <laughs> I'm a bit tired and I, I let him. Actually, Joe, most of the time I'm like, no, you're not. You will be 100%. I'm probably in like about five years time, all these <laughs> things. But sometimes he says, like, I could pick up a house. And I'm like, yeah, maybe if you practice. But then sometimes he, he'd say something like, you know, I was on a plane today. And, I, you know, yeah, and, and I love that. And line. these are the things like I can't really abide by. I can't be like, oh, where are you? Because then like, 
he's going to like, how can he respect my intelligence? You know what I mean? Yeah. If I if I go along with that. But there's some little lies you can kind of let them away with. Is he just lying eyes. to you all day? Is he kind of, it sounds like he's kind of. Uh, he's got an incredible imagination, yeah. you know. Um, but yeah, but just like I was on a plane today, you have to be like, no, you weren't. I actually just need to nip that in the bud now. You know yeah. what I mean? You weren't on the plane. Maybe you can lift a house someday. Yeah. Playhouse. You know what I mean? There's context for it, but like you're not, you weren't on a plane today. You know? How do you know? You weren't, you weren't with him all day. That's true. He goes and does stuff, crash, you know? Yeah. He texts us. We have a different WhatsApp group at Sony. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he says, Daddy, there's no time to go to mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great bit there's that he such, did. There's just not no time. There's, there's simply, simply no, no tone. Tone. <laughs> time. Tony, Tony, yeah. Tony. Yeah. Uh, I love a kid lie though. I think let, let him tell all the lies. Mm. My cousin said he left his cubs, the Cub Scouts, and then my granny's like, did you? And he's like, what you do with your uniform? He's like, sold it. <laughs> she's like to who's like fell from around the corner and she's like how much like, fiver <laughs> just like no you didn't like no you didn't oh well look everybody thank you so much it really is lovely that people listen to this podcast thank you so much to those who subscribe to the bonus podcast as well mm. um, on Headstuff Plus you, we love all of the listeners equally we cherish yeah. all the children equally um, but it is lovely sorry I, did, I just heard from the government uh, they said that Jesus. everyone who subscribes just for the pr- five euro a month get full Irish citizenship. Wow. Yeah, you become Irish, an official Irishman and woman and, and naturalized. A, 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 and that, and that's, person. It's, it, it, you become fully Irish when you subscribe to the Headstuff. And that's uh, Board thing. Planola telling you that. And that's Board okay. Planola. That's come from so Board this Planola. This is serious shit. So just uh, let you know, especially if you're, you know, you might have. And your, that's only like, you know, what, I mean, Fiverr, like minimum, you know, pay whatever yeah, you want. But like, Fiverr so five minimum, five for minimum Irish and you can be Irish. Yeah. Well, yeah. If you pay. Uh, a tenor, you become French, and then fifteen okay. Jamaican, and it sort of goes up oh. t- through the better countries. Wow, okay, um, yeah. Uh, Scandinavian is the top tier, and I think that's fifty oh, a month. I'd love to be Scandinavian. Oh, yeah, too. imagine when we did this podcast, and then just every time we were like, "Thanks for listening to the podcast," and then we all got into a sauna and chatted about like our hopes and dreams. Yeah, It'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, got into like an Audi. Well, if you think Audi Scandinavians are talking in saunas, you're very mistaken. Do they not talk in saunas? No, they sit in silence. Uh, do they? I think so. I actually have no idea. The Finns definitely don't say a word to each other in the saunas. Really? Yeah. Do you know what the hardest part about a sauna is? You're no, no phone. <laughs> lads, no phone lads, in lads there. bring their phones really, into saunas. Did they? It's weird. Gym? Yeah, it's jarring. Oh, it's very jarring. Yeah. Be all sweaty. Anyway, it's are steamy. we finishing this podcast? Yes, we are. <laughs> anyway, look, thanks very much. Have <laughs> a great happy, Paddy's Day. Drink happy responsibly. Happy Paddy's Day. Gaurav Mahargoth. I live. And a little bit sad. He was the best guy around. Oh my, oh my. Is it hot in here or what? You're an attractive guy. It's the fabulous Tony Cantwell. I'm talking about Shane Daniel Burns. <laughs>